Hello, hello everyone, my darlings. I hope you're doing great. So today I am finally making a video for you that I wanted to do for the longest time to the point that I have been postponing this particular topic for a year now. <laughs> Don't hate me, but um, now that I've grew a little bit here on YouTube, I know there are quite a bit of men that watch my channel, which I'm super happy about. And I always, always welcome you here, my dear men. And this video is for you. And also for all of you, my ladies, who first of all, love unisex fragrances and a little bit more masculine fragrances on yourself and want to have something super, super sexy. Or if maybe you have a man, husband, boyfriend, dad, <laughs> whoever, uh, who you want to get a great, great, great fragrance for summer 2022, then this video is definitely for you. And before we jump right into it, please do not fear. <laughs> please do not forget to subscribe, hit the bell and let's go. Okay guys, so I do have some absolute staples classics. I have some beautiful niche fragrances and also some great designer ones that might some to you seem a little bit mainstream, but trust me, they do their job and they are incredible. Of course, all these fragrances are very long lasting. I've tested them on myself, also on my partner and other partners in the past. So yeah, um, yeah, I can really attest to them. They're very sexy, they're very attention grabbing, perfect for summer. I have things that are a little bit more classy and a little bit more loud, so let's jump into it. The first, not even a fragrance, the whole range I personally adore. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. This is Versace Eros. Uh, here I have the original Eau de Toilette. Then we have the Eau de Parfum version, which to me, to be honest, doesn't really differ much. Maybe the longevity is a little, a little bit better and it's a little bit more woody. But other than that, I don't see any differences. Either or you're good. Also, I absolutely fell in love with the flame version, which is in a red bottle. All three are incredible, guys. So no matter which one you go for, you'll be fine. Uh, the original that I have here is so ultra sexy. And of course, many people might say it is mainstream. It is nothing incredible. But for me, this one really does the job. It is sweet, it has some apple to it, it has some mint, if I'm not mistaken. It does have that refreshing quality, but at the same time, as it starts to dry down, you get a lot of sweetness, all right? A lot of sweetness. This is fantastic for summer. And my boyfriend, this is his second bottle at least, or maybe even third, I'm not sure. But he's been through this fragrance for a long time and he really, really loves it for summer. Uh, I will be definitely getting the red flame version for him. I think having EDT and EDP is a little bit redundant, but the, the red one, it is spicier it is sweeter is just incredible i absolutely love the flame one so yes versace eros again no matter which one you go for you're gonna be in love and people around you will also uh, the longevity on all of them is great it is really really great and this is by far my favorite versace fragrance for men that's it let's move on all right um I do have some niche, but maybe I will go through that later on. Another one that is, well, let's be honest, very, very mainstream because it comes from the Le Mal range from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, this one is actually quite different to all the others. And this is Le Beau from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this one is Eau de Toilette, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Uh, however, it is very, very long lasting. And what I must say about it is that I kind of like mixing it with my fragrances because it's super sexy and I really like that masculine touch on me as well. I'm not gonna lie, but 
on my boyfriend this is insane you've got tonka coconut vetiver bergamot is is incredible incredible that coconut version for men in here is absolutely fantastic it gives you that beachy vibe but without being too beachy it still is a very sexy masculine fragrance that i think is a massive massive women magnet and it is definitely worth having i must say if you like slightly fresher fragrances that are sweet um, but maybe not as extremely obnoxious as eros is this one is a little bit less obnoxious all right still quite there but a little bit more subdued it is just beautiful it is balmy uh, but it has that beautiful beautiful le mal signature undertone very slight here Unlike any other flanker, it's very, very slight undertone of Le Mal, but still it is there, in my opinion. So yeah, I really, really love it. The bottle is really cool. Um, I think this is the coolest Le, Le Mal um, bottle because, you know, like, come on, he just went out of the paradise <laughs> or jungle. So yes, I really, really love it. And I can assure you, it's great for parties, for summer, even for office, actually. It's not that bad, you know? Okay, next one. I have a fragrance that I fell in love completely. Completely with. And it is actually a new thing in my testing stash. And I have been testing it for around two weeks now. And... I just have to show it to you guys because for summer nights uh, it is just gonna be you're gonna just smell like a snack you're gonna be a men's version of a snack and all the ladies will be yours I can assure you this is potent this is sexy sensual this is darker uh, and very very sophisticated and that is my dear men and my dear ladies, uh, gentlemen, uh, Reserve Privé from Givenchy. I am pretty sure this is their newest release from the gentleman range, but I might be wrong because they have been releasing so many for the past couple of years. But I think this is the newest one and it comes in the blackish brownish bottle so this one is considered to be uh, woody floral and ambery it has chestnut bergamot iris it has cedarwood vetiver benzoin and it is to die for to die for uh, to be completely honest even though it is a straight up masculine fragrance again this is that dna that i love on myself as well and there's nothing i can do just incredible so if you know Dioron and Dioron intense which are pretty much like, like my top 10 for men like there's it doesn't get better than Dioron to me um, it has that beautiful, slightly lipsticky, powdery iris to it with some sweeter notes and some bergamot. And this is a little bit in that realm. However, in my opinion, this is darker, this is richer. Um, you could wear your own, the original EDT for daytime, no problem. This to me is absolutely nighttime for summer maybe daytime in cooler weather yes but for me it's so seductive it's so classy so deep so sensual of a fragrance that i think it's very very worth saving it for those more special moments when you go out maybe with your girl you know oh, guys you have to have it okay uh, also if you have been feeling like maybe Dior Om because of that iris and that lipstick touch of it is a little bit too feminine leaning for you I think the gentleman from Givenchy but this is the Reserve Privé range this one is gonna be absolutely great absolutely great but again not a daytime fragrance this you need to save for the nights out 
you are gonna be the beast okay you're gonna be the sexual beast that everybody wants i can assure you i can assure you all right guys um i have a couple of navitus fragrances and I must be honest, uh, to me, Navitus, it is a niche brand that works with the best people in the industry in regards to perfumers and perfume um, laboratories. So they have really top-notch quality. And as much as I love wearing Navitus Parfum on myself, they definitely do lead the way when it comes to men's fragrances. So I'm very, very happy to show you some of my favorites. Um, so the first one that I'm always head over heels with, uh, when my boyfriend smells like this, I just cannot get enough. This is pretty much my favorite. Um, and that is Intimus uh, from Navitus, obviously. Uh, my, my boyfriend's bottle is a little bit ratchet looking. Um, He's been taking it on many trips, so this is a little bit meh. Uh, but actually, I'm pretty sure they did change their packaging on this. So yeah, I do have a discount code for you guys. So you can go ahead and use it on your whole order from Navitus website. So everything is down below along with the links. Uh, yes, but Intimus, it is just incredible. It is very sexual to me. It has that beautiful sweetness. If you love Baccarat Rouge, this is it. it. It's like Baccarat Rouge's summer, a little bit more citrusy, a more airy, masculine version. Incredible fragrance. This to me is a women magnet for sure because I cannot keep my hands to myself when my boyfriend smells like this i'm, I'm serious um very very good longevity it has projection it has everything uh, and you know comparing to other uh, niche brands that work with the same perfumers as navitus the price is unbeatable so yes intimus is my first one that i adore for men especially for summer because it is quite airy and it is quite uplifting um, the next one that is exquisite, just exquisite, is Champagne Royale. And as you can see, guys, this is the newer bottle design, which I really, really like. I must say, mm, I have a couple of them and they look so good on the counter. Very classy. And yes, uh, Champagne Royale is definitely way less sweet than Intimus. It is also quite refreshing, in my opinion. And look at it the sprayer gorgeous this one is incredible as well um definitely more more savory and of course the longevity on this fragrance is absolutely gorgeous the projection is actually a little bit more uh close to your skin but if you overspray you'll be good to go so that is champagne royale by navitus and the last one that I want to talk to you about is actually quite a new release from the brand and it was done in collaboration with Redolis and Steven, which uh, if you watch me, I'm sure you also watch Steven. Um, and it is called Away. Uh, this was actually inspired by the Odyssey and the scent is incredible you've got very citrusy notes you've got some coconut it's also very very aromatic super refreshing for summer but still has that quite creamy very sexy undertone to it because of that coconut we also got some incense for some darkness and sandalwood with meshes that coconut and gives you that beautiful creaminess there's also some sage so yeah it's in general beautiful spicy but fresh spicy aromatic citrusy fragrance the longevity is great on it i absolutely love how it smells it's going to be great for daytime for running errands but also incredible for summer vacation i think if you are to take one summer fragrance with you if you're going on holiday where there's beach involved and stuff. I think either you go with Lebo or 
away from Navitus. And that is it from Navitus. Now we can move on to some others that I have here for you. Uh, the next one, I'm very, very sorry, guys, but it is a little bit expensive. But I must say, this is so good, so good. And my boyfriend loves it as well. So I think that we might have to get the bottle of Fragrance Dubois Cannabis Blue. And to me, there is a no better fragrance for summer than this one, to be honest. Um, this one is just, this one does it for me, okay? It does it for me. Um, if you want to know how it smells, I will tell you as usual. This to me, this to me, guys, smells like weed. <laughs> And, um, oh wow, it is slightly sweet, very citrusy and aromatic, and then it has weed undertone, like it's cannabis, right? And you definitely can smell it, but to me it just smells like a very sexy surfer guy on a beach somewhere in Hawaii, having a joint in one hand and surfboard in the other. And a girl on his arm, of course, because he's that sexy. That is cannabis blue to me. Um, also, I don't know if it's just me, but I must admit, it, it does something to my senses because of the smell of cannabis. I don't know if you guys may or may not know, but, you know, weed um, does that particular thing in your throat, like... There's this sensation and this fragrance gives me that as well, which is super duper weird and I want to be on the Hawaii beach already, okay? This fragrance is incredible, it's super fun, it's very playful, of course, like, come on, there's cannabis here. Um, and it's very sexy at the same time. And I really don't know how they did it, but they did actually manage to keep it very sophisticated and very much on par with the price. So yeah, guys, if you want something extremely unique and super cool and very, very rich smelling, but at the same time, I think the funnest um, fragrance that is on the market because it's so unique um, and so playful at the same time you know it might keep people questioning you a little bit but it's so worth it you have to have cannabis blue it's so so good guys so so good and um, this is another of a very few fragrances from fragrance dubois which i think is worth its price and that is because it really does last very very well along with a few others but you know it's not a video about that so let's move on to another fragrance i have a couple more to show you and we're done. Now I want to quickly mention a couple fragrances that I do not even have testers of but I know them very very well and I will always always recommend them um, no matter the weather but summer in particular. So the first one is of course I think it might be my favorite favorite Chanel fragrance even more favorite than women's ones um, and that is Alu Sport O Extreme. Incredible scent. Incredible scent. Um, I remember um, I had a friend in high school who used to wear this fragrance and he was a very very fancy guy and I could not stop smelling him at every school break that we had. That's how great he smelled and I could smell him from the morning till the very very late afternoon so this fragrance is incredible it's super classy but sporty at the same time um, it packs a punch it will give you everything you need in a summer fragrance uh, it definitely is masculine but it has some slight sweetness to it as well so yes Chanel Allure Sport or Extreme is a beautiful aromatic woody fragrance with heavy heavy tonka in it. Also we have some musk and sandalwood so in general that base is to die for, is to die for and you have quite a bit of aromatic notes 
at the top so yes Chanel is the first one that I really really recommend and going back to Dior Homme uh, I think an incredible easy peasy fragrance for summertime is Dior Homme Sport I personally adore 2017 version I wear it myself it's a gorgeous grapefruit nutmeg scent uh, with some woodiness but they just released a new version uh, for 2022 of the sport one uh, so I highly rec recommend testing them both and seeing which one you prefer I would still stay with 2017 one if you still have a chance to grab it then do but if you don't I think the new version is also very very nice and last but definitely not least we have another favorite of mine which is a new release for 2022 and it comes from YSL and this is why Eau de Toilette and here we have a gorgeous combination of aldehydes and ginger and lavender of course we have gorgeous gorgeous cedarwood ambergris and vanilla in the dry down which kill me every time I smell it and uh, we also have some sage for a nice aromatic herbaceous effect so this one I must say this is a very very good release um, I maybe even like it the best out of the whole range not to mention Lenny Kravitz is on the advert this is so good guys so good I was a little bit wary of those aldehydes in here uh, but they have a very subdued and very contemporary clean effect quite the same as in Tom Ford Metallique if you're familiar with that not as harsh not as sharp as there but very very contemporary so they're not playing for strings they're very much in the background just to make that fragrance a little bit more clean you get a lot of vanilla and woodiness and also quite a bit of lavender which I am a massive fan of here so yes YSL Eau de Toilette for 2022 is a great release that I highly highly recommend checking out I know many men love the previous version so I think it is definitely worth going and smelling the newest one or maybe just blind buying who knows you know um, but that is it my darlings I really really hope you enjoyed it Mm, if you did please give this video a thumbs up and please leave me a comment so I know that you guys are interested in men's fragrances as well this is definitely a passion of mine uh, it's not like I only love female fragrances no 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 I'm always at the men's counter as well sniffing and trying so this is something that I would love to incorporate into my videos and my channel so please let me know or I just got a whiff of that cannabis blue and it's so cannabis. Ooh, I hope I'm gonna get some relaxation in here. But yes guys, jokes aside, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and your constant support and see you in my next one. Bye.